All right, there's one shot. Hello gang, welcome back once again to The Long Dark. My name is Lonely Wolf, and we're here once again with our interloper playthrough. We're, uh, we're trying to get a wolf hide today. Uh, we still are missing one more from being able to get our jacket. Ooh, I just got a new badge. Heck yeah. Book smarts. Anyway. Um, we're trying to get another wolf hide, uh, so we can get our, uh, our wolf hides going so we can finally get that jacket built, uh, cause we're going to need that. Uh, the next one coming up is going to be deer, uh, deer booties. I uh, just want to our deer leggings. Um, pretty sure all I have is those two deer hides right now is what I'm just confirming at the moment. I uh, know we do have three. We could start on the deer, uh, deer pantalones if we wanted to. Um, but anyway, we're going to just uh, finish reading another hour of this little book I've got. Um, and then we'll step outside and check the temperature. Probably still too cold for anything important. Um, but we finally got that deer hide. Oh yeah, it's, it's bru brutal outside right now. Um, we do need to get some more food cooked as well. So we may actually go ahead and start a fire. Um, we have more than enough sticks. Uh, get this fire going. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Seriously, thank you for the book. <laughs> I wanted that far sooner. Anyway, we want to get some of this meat cooked if we can. Let's hope the weather holds out, um, temperature-wise, or not temperature-wise, uh, wind-wise, for us to get these fires off. Um, honestly, it's a rampant, just pure guess. As to how it's gonna roll. Um, this is not the lee side. The lee side around back over here. Oh, it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this fire started. We'll just haul some meat around and we'll cook some meat up and the water up. Um, get us another couple days worth of meals prepared. Uh, I'm not specifically hunting anything right now, so I'm not worried about chasing it down with the fuel required to get it, etc, etc. This is just a nice little fire because we finally have some sunshine this morning. And if the wind shifts, I'm only using sticks to fuel this guy, so... If the wind ends up shifting, we'll be fine enough, hopefully. Ah, yeah, let's see what that gets us up to. Six seconds, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it's still cold. We might have to add something a little more hefty. All right, we got this moose meat. We're going to try and cook that up. Hopefully we'll have more than enough time to get it on. Let's start with that 10% guy. Woof, woof. Bit rough. I'm not sure I can All right, let's add one of those reclaimed. That will add far more temperature to this fire. If I can get it up high enough temperature-wise... Maybe another stick as well. Try and counteract this early morning temperature. 28 is comfortable enough for me to stick around for a minute. And wait it out, see what the temperature continues to do. It seems to be climbing. We may be okay. Wind has shifted, sadly. Look. There we go. We are starting to warm up, though. We'll just keep going on water and food. I have plenty of water for a long time, but that's not my uh, biggest concern. My biggest concern is the fact um, that with such limited time frames to work with fires in Interloper, I want to have a huge stock of... of uh, Water ready. What time is it? Almost midday.
I'm surprised the weather's staying good for us. This is incredibly important. Uh, getting this much fuel on a fire is kind of sketchy in Interloper. Uh, and it is breezy, which is concerning, but provided we keep going in this little time frame like we are, I'm not too terribly concerned. Well, he's hungry. Let's feed him. It's a good idea, right? Oh, we already have two gallons of water. I mean, we started with like 0.8 of something. I don't remember how much we started with. Start with plenty of water. That wind is starting to starting to pick up here. I'm just trying to get some decent amount of outdoor time in while I can. Um. Because in, in a while, with all this crafting we're going to be doing, it's going to get to be pretty sketchy for staying outdoors for any appreciable period of time. I didn't mean to drink that, but that's okay. We were a little thirsty. Alright, it sounds like the wind's really wanting to pick up here. It did pick up here. We might be fine with that. Yeah, we are totally fine. Come up over here and drop off what we have. That is cooked. Drop off what's not cooked. Uh, uncooked pile which leaves us with just one steak left to cook from our moose and we got everything out of that fire all right uh it's still brutally cold which is not the best i'm not too concerned about it though and we'll jump off this water and this fuel. Uh, there it is, water. And we already have... Yeah, we did have some water in the other locker, but this locker's full. We'll make a water pile on the floor, I guess. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Uh, we'll just... Mm, that thing spawns in and out drastically, as does the pile I'm containing basically everything else in. Alright, we only need... I'll do. I leave us with exactly a gallon. Hmm, where's all my other weight? Why am I carrying this around? I guess I was gonna craft something. Apparently, I changed my mind. Or oh, we ran out of feathers, I guess. Where's my other weight at? It can't be in food. It can't be in clothes. It's not in meds. Ah, fuel. Haha. <laughs> I knew I had something somewhere. Let's get rid of the sticks. This is 68 sticks and one more room claimed. Uh, this book, one of these books has been finished. That's the one that's not been finished. The one remaining is the one that is finished. Correct? Yes. Alright. Let's go see if we can't hunt a wolf. See what the temp is out here. 18. Brutalis. Let's get some bait and go. Now again, judging by the crows, I would say our wolf pal's back, but, or the morning doves, not the crows, but, but, they've been firing off like that for forever, so, even with the wolf dead, so, it's unknown whether he's actually in the vicinity or not, we'll proceed with caution, we'll pretend like he's here, if he is, we'll kill him. If he's not, we'll just find another one of his fluffy brethren, and uh, we'll dice their faces up. This is actually pretty crazy to be able to get clear days like this. I mean, I know we just had a blizzard, but this is Interloper. I'm still shocked by that fact. 
That mystery like holds this many clear days. I guess it's because the majority of my interloper runs have been spent in Coastal Highway, which constantly gets well the coastal weather. Which is it yeah kinda meh? Kinda really meh? Yeah, late afternoons we're still hitting up to twenty degrees. We get those deer hide pants, we'll be one step further. Wolf skin coat will be two steps further, but we're still at least a week out. I don't like the fact that we're at least a week out. I'd rather make that a certain week out. This is why we're heading right into the heart of wolf territory. Normally not a recommended course of action. In fact, just about any other time of day, I'd say you're a loony tin. <laughs> just to come walking down this way. But we'll just collect some sticks while we're here. And uh, hope that scent meter starts doing its magic. Supposed to be a wolf right here. There's normally a wolf right here. I'm honestly pretty shocked by the fact that there's not. Ah, here we go. Down the road a ways. Might have a pair or two of them down here. Wide open sight lines. I'm not worried. Temperatures increased massively, which is very good. There he is. All right, we're going to try and lure him up the road a ways. Just to get him a little further back. Um, and then we're going to try and cross over a bit so I can control his angle. Just a wee tad. I'm going to come up into the wood lot here. I'm going to try and control his angle of approach. Feels like this day's going to get stormy even though it's still nice and sunny. Alright, this looks to be about a ghost spot as any. I just want to see the wolf. He's not performing as expected, which is sad. All right, we'll just have to do it on the road and hope for some good results. All right, there he is. Let's let him get a little bit closer. Drop that little piece of wolf meat. He seems pretty happy with that. I'm gonna approach it from a really odd angle though. All right, there's one shot. Hoping he comes back towards me. It's always difficult to predict. I wish I'd gotten the headshot, but I didn't aim it properly. I'm more worried about actually hitting him than forcing a crit. If he comes up through here, he'll have to come back. Head up a ways to head that off. Depends on how he ricochets out of here. Depends on how long he runs full tilt. He can go a fair ways. Alright, he's slowing down. Second shot should drop him. Going around. Careful, because we can still get jumped. Alright, he's going forward. We'll follow along. Alright, there he goes. So he's going to die up over in here where there's probably some saplings we can catch if, if they spawned up here. Now, it's still a decent day. If it stays decent, we might be able to collect enough sticks to get his hide off at the very least. Not so worried about the meat, but at least the hide and guts. Where'd you go? What? Where's your blood? Where'd you go... Up? 
I want to get jumped. Oh. Hi. Hello. There we go. All right. Um. Nine sticks isn't a whole lot. Let's see if we can't increase that a little bit. Watching the cloud cover, I want to make sure we can still get that mag fire off. We can get like you know, 20 sticks, maybe? It's probably a bit much to ask. Especially if we have to deal with the posse on the way down. It's a huge possibility. Plus this wind that's been a sore spot in my side all day. Mainly just for the fact that it exists, not that it's been a problem yet, but problems can present themselves. Alright, question is, we don't need that many sticks to stay warm. I have a feeling we should just go for it. Alright, let's just see if this is the least side of the tree. No. I don't know if these trees provide enough cover. Probably not. We're just wasting time. The other problem is the slope's so steep. This is problematic. All right. We drop that and that. We're no longer stenchy. Risky. Oh, we got his hide. Would have loved to have gotten more. But it's cold. It's late. And we still have to get home. Let's check and see if my feather farm actually dropped any feathers, though. Would have loved to get another tick bar into the fire starting skill, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste all the time out here now. It does not look like it's pretty... Alright, let's just, let's just head home. Honestly, that's the best, best course of action at this juncture, I think. We may end up hitting another wolf on the way down, which I wouldn't complain about. I'd hope for an insta shot, though. So hungry in my life. We'll be fine. We're just gonna freeze a little. Gotta be careful coming out through the woodlot because this is their stomping ground. So if we want more guts, we can always head up the hill. Get more guts. Or we can always just kill more animals. We have more than enough guts for what we're attempting to produce right now. I would have loved to have more guts than that, but there's always rabbits. We get in a pinch. Nice thing about hitting the wolf early in the baiting process is he didn't eat my bait so I still have more to use so in case we get double or triple ganked I should be able to survive depends on how it happens obviously I don't have much control over that the only problem with carrying bait is it makes you senti the big old trade off Ability to dump some wolf off of you, but also attracts wolves. It looks like we're okay. Just want to get this hide home and curing. It means seven days from now, 
we can begin the crafting of the most important article of clothing we'll need for the next leg of our journey, which is that wolfskin coat. It's going to get even harder to start collecting more wolf pelts, though. We are expecting another wolf to respawn right here soon. As to how long that takes, it's kind of up in the air. You're not hiding right down there? No. No, you're not gonna give me another free hide today? Would've been nice. Yeah, he's not back yet. It'll be a while before he is. All right, well, we have daylight left. We're not that particularly tired. We can just dump off into the dam and work on some... Some boots. Or some, not some boots, some pantalones. If we have enough cured gut for it, we may not. Now I come to think of it. All right. Oh, well, we're actually still waiting for it to cure. I forgot about that as well. All, All right, well. Think about is food. One, two, three, four. Cured. All oh, that's still going. Got plenty of water. Not going storing anything there. All right, in here, we have clothes that need to be disassembled. In here. We have more clothes that need to be disassembled. You have a cured deer hide, though. Got more maple saplings. Bunch of stuff that needs to be disassembled. Stuff to read. Speaking of reading, let's get rid of this hide real quick. Speaking of reading, hmm, let's eat first, though. We should probably finish that archery book. It's only got an hour left on it. But that will have to happen next time. That's been it for this episode of Interloper, where we finally have enough wolf hides as soon as they're cured. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, as always, stay safe and stay warm out there.